This small monument in the centre of Sydney CBD marks the spot where Richard Johnson, the chaplain on the first fleet to Australia, held the first Christian church service on the 3rd of February 1788. This stands as a symbol of the time when the Christian gospel first came to this land. Johnson read from Psalm 116. The actual Bible he read from still exists and is held in St. Philip's Church in York Street. It's amazing that we still have it. This is also the spot that they built the first church, but it burnt down five years later, so that didn't work out so well. Right from the very beginning of European settlement in Australia, Christian faith has had a significant place. It's motivated and enabled brave and faithful men and women to do incredible things. Over the course of 2021, we're producing a new series looking at the influence of the followers of Jesus on Australia. This series is called Faith Runs Deep. We will be driving an iconic Holden Ute, no less, from cities to the outback across this country. And we're unearthing the stories from history and people of today whose lives have been changed by Jesus and who have deeply influenced our nation. We'll be discovering where faith runs deep across Australia. Our Christian history has many stories to celebrate, but it's not a perfect story either. There are moments that are great, but sadly, there have been failures, particularly in regards to the indigenous peoples of this land. We want to tell their stories as well. Now, we'd love for you to join us as we create this series. Go to faithrunsdeep.com.au and register to receive updates and to give support to us in prayer and in giving. Why don't you become a part of the team as we create this series? We also hope to meet many of you. We're going to have meet and greets as we travel around. Be sure you're registered so you know where we'll be filming and you can come and meet us. This is an exciting project and we want you to join us on this adventure. Become a partner at faithrunsdeep.com.au